I'm gonna get started real quickly because um, traffic might be light as we near the Thanksgiving holiday. LA streets are lighter and lighter. And I wanna get right to it. <clears throat> Number one reason I don't do Black Friday shopping is because I don't like dealing with crowds while I shop, okay? I don't mind crowds at a football game, basketball game, Actually, I do mind. I don't like I don't like being in big groups of people like that. I don't like at the end of the basketball game when you got to walk through and all those people are going the same direction and I don't like I don't like all that. I really avoid the mall pretty much totally and completely from like Black Friday to Christmas. Okay? I um I don't I don't do that stuff. I don't like a whole bunch of people in line. My wife is funny like this. She'll be wanting to buy something and she goes to the line and there's too many people in line. She will just not buy it. She 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 will she just won't buy. It. I don't really do Cyber Monday either. I see y'all talking about it, but I don't be wanting to buy stuff online like that either. I just don't like big crowds. I don't like going to the mall and there's just all these parking spaces taken and I don't even mind walking. I just when I see that many people in traffic, I just get anxious. Hello, first time attender. I just get an anxious and just people will be in line and people pushing you. I don't like people get off me, fam. Why are you pushing? Just get off me. Don't, don't, don't do that. Don't, don't do that. Don't, 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 don't push me, fam. Don't do that. And this kind of leads me to number two reason I don't do Black Friday. There's nothing I want that bad. There's nothing that I want that bad that's going to make me deal with like people be stampeding and 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 dying in Walmart and stuff and uh um I'm, it ain't that serious. It is not that serious for you to be trying to push me and now I got to fight over you and and I, there's nothing I want that bad. That's another reason I don't I don't go Black Friday shopping. And they're like, oh, come get a big TV for two hundred dollars. And they only have three of those TVs. And somebody's been waiting outside all week for that TV. And they go get the three TVs, and then the t TVs are gone. And now people don't ransack the Walmart <clears throat> over a two hundred dollar Vizio. Is it really that worth it? I would rather just have my piece of mind. I just don't do, I don't like it. Melissa goes sometimes. She's went a couple of Thanksgiving with her friends and she like, I don't be really wanting her to go, but I let her do her thing. But you couldn't drag me out of the house. Old Navy is giving away a million dollars for somebody who's standing in line. And I'm just like, that's million dollars, it's not for me. I'd rather give my million dollars away for a part of me is cynical and be like of all the people in line in old navy stores all across the lane and it ain't finna gonna be it ain't finna gonna be me this ain't even a suit guys this is just a jacket shirt and tie i'm wearing jeans people camping out two and three days in advance i got stuff to do how you gonna miss thanksgiving to camp out for a 200 dollars tv <laughs> And the thing is, Black Friday ain't even like Friday at five. The stores are opening at eight o'clock. Listen, was like, all right, I'm leaving Thanksgiving to go. I'm like it's eight o'clock on Sunday, what, on Thursday. I feel really bad for people who work retail, and they just they just disrespect retail workers Thanksgiving. They just disrespect it. Like they don't want to sit down and eat, take a nap, and lay up. That's just disrespect. Thursday. Pretty soon, Thanksgiving ain't even gonna be a holiday. Retail is gonna be like, just come on through. <clears throat> I don't think that's right. I think you should be able to spend time with your family. That's another reason I don't do Black Friday because I don't want to support retail. I know my little drop in the bucket don't mean nothing. Unless all the black people get together like, uh, was it two years ago or last year? Last year was the year we um, didn't do Black Friday. Was it last year? I can't remember what the event was. I think it was just everything. But we was like, we ain't doing Black Friday. And the sales was down. 
They was like, oh, we don't know what was wrong. The sales were down. The black folks decided we weren't finna buy nothing. Black folks don't got no money, but we still find a way to buy our stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, Basha. <clears throat> so, what are my reasons so far? Number one, I don't like the crowds. Number two, there's nothing I want that bad. Number three, I don't like dealing with people. Number four, I don't like leaving Thanksgiving and I don't like getting up early on the day after Thanksgiving. When I get up the day after Thanksgiving, I'm eating turkey sandwiches with mustard and greens. I am not worried about, like I'll be in a coma that night. That night when you ate all that stuff, that's good night's sleep. I'm not about to set my alarm on a holiday to go shopping. Nay on TV, I say nay. I am not setting no alarm on Thanksgiving day after. Nah, fam. I got to set alarm all during the work week. I got to wake up. I wake up early on the weekends anyway. I'm not going to set an alarm at 6 to go in Old Navy and pick out three socks. Ain't nobody got time for that. Oh, ain't nobody got time for that. It is cold on that Friday. And I'm not going nowhere on Saturday. Because ain't nobody got time for that. Oh, 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 yeah, Black Friday is just, I ain't liked it and I, I just don't like it. Do y'all do Black Friday? Do y'all do the blacks? Seems like a lot of people do Cyber Monday. Yeah, we got good, clean computers. Good, good, clean computers. Order it online. Somebody's excited for Black Friday. Hey, thank you, Tobin Masura. No, I don't like crowds. I get anxious. Hubby won't let you. I assist my cousin or friend. That's why you're a good Judy. <laughs> Shot black on Friday. People priorities are really mixed up. Never again. I shop online. Cyber Monday. If I did something, I would do Cyber Monday. I would definitely do Cyber Monday. I couldn't do Black Friday. Black owned businesses only. Black owned businesses don't be selling Xboxes, like Disney 3.0 though. When the black business is gonna sell PlayStation 4s? I would rather bob for apples. Cyber Monday is starting on Sunday, but that's okay because that's online. You go to the mall just to watch people how do you spell your name, pronounce it? Is it Level Esprit? La Belle Esprit? You just stay clear of the mall as much as possible during the holiday. So do I. I used to work at a bank that was literally a one minute walk to the mall. And we didn't, we, we couldn't find nowhere to park. Couldn't find nowhere to park. Groupon Black Friday deals. Support black game station. You be in church making Cyber Monday purchases? What? What? Thank y'all for all the compliments. I um I gotta shoot a sketch as Brian Gumble. La Belle Esprit, that's it. La Belle Esprit, that's French. Yes, Mr. CJJR. Black Friday is for sleeping. By the way, my parents have been here for the last two days and I've been walking around in my drawers with a wife beater on and they haven't said much about it because they like, this is your house. You're doggone right it is. And I'm walking around in my drawers because that's what I feel like wearing. My clothes is in my room and my parents are staying in my room so I got to go in in my drawers. So whether y'all awake or not, I'm in my drawers. Yes, who gonna pop me? I kissed my dad on the cheek, on the, uh, not the cheek, the forehead. Told him good night. He was like, good night, son. Now you good night, son. And plus I'm taller than him. 
So I went down and kissed him on the, and on the forehead. Good night, y'all. Y'all get in that bed. I told my parents get in the bed. Y'all get in that bed. You know, y'all ain't gonna be up here cutting up. Get in that bed. Get in that bed. I don't want to hear no noise. I'm the dad now. Y'all turn this heat off. I actually did tell him to turn the heat off. I came home yesterday and it was 80 degrees in my house. I was like, if y'all don't turn this heat off. Y'all don't pay no bills, and my parents absolutely do not pay no bills in this house. So, my family has one rule. If it's your house, you get to make the rules. My great, my grandma, Ruthie, she would walk around in her drawers. And I, uh, my, we were like, Mom, we call her Mom, too. We were like, Mom, she was like, this is my house. If y'all don't like it, and they would never finish that sentence. If y'all don't like it, huh? If you don't like it, what? What? If you don't like it, that's right. Yes, I'm gonna do a scope with my mom and dad today because my mom was taking over anyway. Yeah, my grandma keeps it a hundred percent real. If you don't, if you don't like it, then what can you do? What can you do, honey? What can you do if you don't like it? Because this is my house. I tell this joke on stage, but I grew up, this is my household when I grew up. My great grandma Jack, my grandma Ruth, my mom, my uncle Marlon, my uncle Daniel, my aunt Andy, my brother, me, my sister, and a dog, Sunshine, in a three bedroom house. Okay? Grandma Ruthie had her own room. My great grandma, my mom, and uh, aunt slept in one room. Me and Jason and two uncle, actually my great grandma, mom, aunt, and Michelle slept in one room. Me, my uncle Marlon, Jason, my uncle Daniel slept in another room on bunk beds. And we had the nerd to have a dog and my grandma had her own room. And we was like, why does not you share? I pay the rent. I don't pay the rent to share a room. I pay the rent to have my own room. If y'all want your own room, if you don't like it, Sunshine was the dog. And if you don't like it, what can you do? What what can you do if you don't like it? What can you do if you don't like it? Yeah, we were absolutely grown sleeping in a bunk bed. My uncle Daniel and Jay slept on the top and me and my uncle Martin slept on the bottom. And the funny thing is, we didn't even know we were poor. When everybody you know is poor, you don't know what rich is. Everybody around us was the same poor. So we don't see ourselves as poor. We had pie and star search. We didn't have no lot of poor man's meals. We had WIC. That was when, this was before food stands let you pick out anything. We was on WIC. And WIC made you get like grape nuts and the yellow box of Cheerios. Nobody wants the yellow box of Cheerios. We want honey nut. Wick was like, no, if y'all don't have your own money, y'all get the basic stuff. Have you ever had grape nuts? Grape nuts are disgusting. Special K, original, just like basic Cheerios. Them things is terrible. Juicy juice is off the hook though. Block cheese, big things of peanut butter. Yeah, baby. Builds character. Builds care. Women, in, women, infants, and children. There was a Wick store that was like a really tiny for, storefront store, and um, and and it just <laughs> Jay said the cereal box just said flakes, bro. <laughs> it was a really tiny women income in uh uh children store. And it only had like, yeah, powdered milk, powdered eggs. We didn't have that, Jesus. We had we had some luxuries. Powdered milk, ugh. Yes, if you watch Jay Scope, he was absolutely right. I was completely sprung on Melissa and I don't hide it. And I tried also to tell you that I had ugly girls. Y'all don't want to believe me until Jay Cohn started. But yeah, when you're poor and everybody else you know is poor, then what is poor? Poor is relative. Rich is relative. In order to know you're poor, you have to be exposed to rich. And we weren't exposed to rich. Everybody at our church had the same amount of money, roughly. I mean, some people had a little more, but it was never like somebody was out here stunning. 
It was just like Deacon Pete had a new truck. But we never felt poor. All of our, all of us kids had the same type of clothes. All the kids at our school had the clothes. Didn't nobody have Jordans? Poor is a mindset, a state of mind. Yeah, when you grow up and you realize other kids had other stuff. Like you might, like I went to Noel's house, my friend, and he had a lot of toys, but he still lived in the same type of house. We all had duplexes. Our house all connected in the middle. You know if you're if the houses have to have addresses on opposite opposite sides, you y'all live close. Cause when you have houses that are in their own spot, you can put the address anywhere. But when y'all house is close, you gotta go opposite sides. We shared a dirt patch with our neighbors. That call they call them condominiums now. Oh yeah. But we didn't care, man. We had everything we wanted. We had toys. We had love. What you got to have is love. And I don't mean to be, like, serious. When you have love in the home and you get you got the basic necessities and love, you don't know, man. You don't care. And kids, we as parents, we always want to make sure that our kids have stuff. But what our kids want is us. We didn't have a whole bunch of stuff when I was a kid. But our parent, we had our parents. We'd be so busy trying to work so hard to give our kids things, and the thing they need is time. They need time. I remember getting Christmas gifts. <clears throat> My parents had to buy our Christmas gifts from the Salvation Army. And I remember specifically, once I, <clears throat> I kind of realized we weren't getting the same toys as other kids, I got a Batman coupe. And the box said Batman coupe and Batman included. But mine didn't have no Batman in it, and it was slightly open. And I was like, uh, Dad, where's the Batman? He was like, ah, they didn't have it. But I didn't even really care because the coupe was cool. And I had men. I had my own men. So I just put another. I just put an army guy in the Batman car, and the top used to close. And that was my favorite car. Like, right now, guys, I don't, I, I'll tell you right now. Zay Zay and JoJo may not know this, but this is how they're growing up. They are not getting no whole bunch of toys for Christmas. Because Zay Zay and Jojo, Jojo were like spoiled, rotten for Christmas. Me and Jay used to run the Toys for Tots organization at our church. And we never, ever had run out of toys. So we gave all the toys away to the community and the way our church was set up, once we gave all the toys to the community, then we would give toys to the church. But in between that time, in between the toys to the community and toys to the church, they would let us give our toys to our kids. So for a couple years, we had, um, no, these weren't taxpayers. These were donations. Um, when the kids were really little, we used to give them, like, they just had all the toys. And when I tell you these toys were broken, lost, or didn't care about by New Year. I'm gonna tell them about the sword, Jay. If they were broke, they weren't broken or lost. They just stopped playing. So me and Melissa were talking. We were like, "Why are we spending two and three hundred dollars getting them these toys that they're not gonna care about by a, a week? Why?" So we decided about two years ago that we might get them one or two things, but we want to do something for Christmas. So two years ago, we took them to Disneyland, and last year we took them on a cruise. And this year, they don't know. We're taking them somewhere. I'm not even telling it on Periscope because I don't want nobody to ruin it for them. But we're taking them somewhere. We decided we'd rather spend time as a family and give you guys a memory than give you a whole bunch of toys that you're going to break. Anyway. And um, they don't care. I give them one or two things just so they... I give them a couple things just so they have something open for Christmas, but I spend less than $50. Like this year, they might get... They've been asking for Disney Infinity 3.0. They might get one game that they can share... That's seventy-five dollars total, and that'll be it. And whatever now, if your grandma sends them stuff, that's on grandma. Grandma, and grandparents, they send them stuff. I don't spend no four and five hundred dollars on no toys, cause you won't, you won't remember. I can't remember my toys. I can't remember all my toys. I remember a couple toys. We had electric, electronic football where you would turn it on, and it was like, eh, eh, and the guys would like go and fall, and we just had like a box of men where me and Jay used to play with. And um, and I had a Leonardo sword that was my favorite toy. I had a Leonardo sword. 
and I played with that sword every day. I would go home and Ninja Turtles came on at 3.30 and I would turn Ninja Turtles on and on the first commercial, I mean the first, the commercial break between Woody Woodpecker and Ninja Turtles, I would go and get my Leonardo sword and I would sit on the ground and I would watch Turtles with my sword. And I loved it and I played with it and I played with it so much that it was split the, the front side of the blade was split all the way up because I hit so many things with it. It was split. And what happened to that sword? My lovely brother, who I try to tell y'all was mean all the time, and people don't want to believe me, or he wants to cry and say, that wasn't mean. He took the only toy I loved and he threw it on the roof. We got into a fight and he took the only thing I loved and he threw my toy on the roof. And when you're little, the roof might as well be as big as a skyscraper. Oh, I remember the Batmobile. He took it and he threw it on the roof and I didn't even hear it hit the roof. It just was like, and it just went out of sight. When, and I was young, like I, the roof might as well have been outer space. When you're this tall, you can't imagine getting on the roof. Jay said it became an idol. <laughs> and that's when I knew my brother was just from the pits of hell. When he could take the only toy that I loved and throw it on the roof. Why would you do that, Jay? Why would you do that? It was just... Why would you do that? Why? Why? Why would you do that? Cast down those aisles. I think about it randomly from time to time when I'm driving down the thing at road, driving down the road from work. I just look outside and be like, why would my brother do that? And then I go on about my day. So why would you do that? That was the only toy. <laughs> to say you couldn't be loving that sword more than Jesus. <laughs> yeah, man. Why don't you tell me about the time I made you cry, Jay? Yeah, you don't want to talk about that. We got fight. We fought a lot as kids. And I got beat up 99.9% .9 of the time. But one day, turn to your neighbor and say, one day, one day, I was mad and I was I was doing this. And, and I don't remember what Jay did, but we lived in Biggs Army Airfield. And we had aluminum, or not aluminum, we had linoleum floors. And these things were cold as rock. And we were fighting, and I got him on the ground, and I sat on his head with my butt. And I was like, ah! 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 And he cried. And he beat the brakes off me, but it didn't even hurt. Like, I cried when he beat me up, but I just was enjoying seeing those little tears come out of his eyes. Oh, it was all the joy I needed. I, I was heavy as a kid. I was stocky. And head to floor, and somebody doing this on your head, and I was rolling it back and forth. So his head was on the ground like, ah, ah, ah. I got his ear one time. Boy, when he cried, it was like slow motion in the movie. I was just like, I was running away from him, but I didn't even care. I was like, yes. Yes. And then he beat the brakes off me. You hear me? I mean, he was mad. But it didn't, those punches didn't even hurt. We just had one rule. Don't scratch and don't punch each other in the face. That's all. I, that's how I tell my boys to fight. You, Jay, you ain't smashing me on side. You don't want it. You don't want it with me. My kids fight all the time. They're usually play fighting. I just got two rules, three rules. Don't scratch, don't punch each other in the face. And when y'all go to fight, don't come crying to me when one of you guys get hurt. But other than that, y'all fight, wrestle, I don't care. Be boys, get strong. But make your brother cry one time. That gave me all the hope. Once I made him cry, I knew I could do things. I can do all things in, in Christ who strengthens me. You know you're wrong. You know you're wrong. It says one car per green, and you're in the carpool side of the lane. You already know you're wrong. 
yeah, guys, that gave me all the hope. Because up until then, I hadn't had, I hadn't won many battles. In life, I hadn't won many awards, no spelling bees. But once I beat up my brother, then you're like, hey, man. It was like when Rudy got on the field at Notre Dame. I was like, oh, my gosh. I didn't fart on him. I was all, it was all anger. The victory, the victory. I thought I lost, but actually I won. <laughs> For by his blood, we all have overcome. There is no failure. Our God can never lose. And that one day I made my brother cry. Jason got the victory, not the day I got the victory. He cry, baby. I got the victory, you cry, baby. Cry, baby, cry, baby. Remember when that really used to hurt your feelings, even though you'd be crying? Yeah. Cry, baby, I'm not. Cry, baby, go tell mom you cry, baby. Mom, they call me a cry, baby. <sighs> cry, baby, an African booty scratcher. Cry baby, eh, eh. cry baby boy, cry baby boy. <laughs> oh boy, Robasha. I'm gonna fight Jason on Periscope. We, we, Jay, we can fight on Periscope. I'm gonna see Jay for Christmas. Well, you wanna fight on Periscope? We can set up the Periscope and fight. And since you can't punch me in my face, you're going to lose. We can fight on Periscope. That'll probably get a lot of... Uh, we could set up little posters and stuff. We can get the gloves and the helmet stuff. Or, no, we can't do that because if one of us gets knocked out, we can't ever come back on Periscope again. If one of us got knocked out, you can't come back on Periscope after the world seeing you go to sleep. It won't get serious. We're brothers. We can wrestle... Jay, you don't really want to mess with a wrestler. I'm 240, baby. I'm a big boy. I'm a, I got thighs. I got thighs. I'm corn fed, country bread. You hear me? Corn fed, free reign, hoss, steer. Corn fed, country bread. You hear me, boy? I've been watching Friday Night Lights. Clear eyes, full hearts, can't lose. I watch all five seasons. I'm feeling strong. We could do those American Gladiator uh, joust things. We can race. We can play basketball one-on-one. -on -one. We don't want to wrestle, though. Jay, I'm stronger than Jay. I'm stronger. He's wiser. I am better. So much better. I got thighs on it. Messing with that industry. I got thighs on it. All right, I got to go. I'm on the 405 in my car. Uh, thing's about to mess up. God bless y'all. God keep y'all. We will see you at the conference. Grace and peace be with you.